Hey, beautiful people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Sensible Decor. I thank you for stopping by my channel. I am posting another vid video today as I work on uh, a tumbler. This is going to be a 20 ounce tumbler and it's an alcohol ink tumbler. So I, uh, I typically do tumblers with glitter or even sublimation. But today I'm going to be using alcohol ink. And so I'm just going to bring you along as I um, go through the process. So I thank you for stopping by. I ask that you hit the subscribe button. I also ask that you hit the, the like button if you like the content. So that um, I'll know what you like and I can bring you more of that. I can post more of those videos when I'm doing those type of crafts. But we're just going to jump in. And what I am doing is uh, applying some epoxy to my tumbler. Uh, I do not want my tumbler, I don't want my inks to um, to run. I want them to kind of slide. I want to do a swirl-like thing. And so I don't want to have to put a lot of alcohol on them to get them moving. Because I believe that that kind of dilutes the color when you put the alcohol on. So what I'm doing is I am just going to coat the tumbler with some epoxy. I'm going to be using alcohol inks by Jacquard uh, Pinata. And I also have some off-brand alcohol inks that I picked up off of Amazon. I can't pronounce the name on those, but I'll leave a link for those in the description if you want to check them out. They didn't cost much. You got a, a good set of them. I think it was maybe 12 or 18 in the set and so I got those just to add to some of the the higher price ones that I do use the pinatas and the Picasso so I'm just getting good coating on here and then we're gonna start dropping some inks I'm using my single cup turner um, I'm not sure if that's a good idea because this this turner turns a little slower than my four cut, um, but we're gonna we're gonna see. And so I'm just giving this a nice coat, making sure that I hit the tops because I always have trouble with my rims, um, the alcohol ink sliding away or not coating. And forgive me if you can hear that noise in the background, but my neighbors are, I guess, getting a whole yard overhaul because they've been out there with that edge clipper for hours. I don't think they should have anything left to cut, but nonetheless, we're going to move on. All right. So I'm just going to let that spin for a minute just to even out while I get my alcohol inks ready. And again, this is a 20 ounce tumbler. Uh, I'm using a brand new tumbler, so I haven't, I didn't spray paint it or anything like that. I do have some oops tumblers, tumblers that uh, got a little messed up that um, I could reuse, but I wanted to try this afresh. I wanted to, to try this alcohol ink on a fresh tumbler. And so I just used a brand new one and it's gonna be for someone so all right guys now i did hold back a little bit of epoxy um i mixed up about 20 uh 10 and 10 cc's on the um epoxy just so that i could have some to mix my white and my gold i don't really like dropping white or my mixative uh, the gold straight onto the tumbler. So I saved a little bit of epoxy back so that I can mix the white and the gold in and then put it, put it on the tumbler. So I'm just taking the tops off because I don't know which colors I'm using. I have all different colors, shades of green. Um, the request was green. And I'm like, okay, well, we need some kind of contrasting color or something. And they really want green. And so I'm gonna do green, but I wanna 
kind of do some variants of it, see which shades I like. So I'm gonna start off with, and I know that I'm gonna like the Rainforest Green. I think that's the green that she likes. And so I'm just gonna start off dropping the inks right onto the tumbler. And then what I'm gonna do is, as it starts to, to mix, I am going to drop some other color greens in between there. But I do wanna make sure that my tops are totally covered, so I'ma concentrate on those areas to begin with top and my bottom because I always I never have enough ink in those areas all right so this is the rainforest Baja oh excuse me the rainforest green now I'm gonna come in with this is a green green that's the name of it it's off brand um, I don't know the name I can't pronounce the name but the, the color is green green. And so I'm just dropping that in between there. And I like that green. I like green as a color. It's one of my one of my colors. But I like a darker green. Alright, we want to make sure we get the bottom. Okay. So and then I'm not sure how I'm going to finish it off. I know I'm gonna put a decal on here, but I'm not sure what color. I guess it's gonna depend on how the cup turns out. Now I have a turquoise. I am not sure about this turquoise. Okay. But I'm just gonna go ahead and drop just a little bit of it in there. I don't want one green to overpower. I just want it to be different shades of green is what I'm going for. Just a mix. All right, so we use the turquoise. Now, I say one more. And this is parakeet green. Hmm. It's gonna look like this one has been open before. I'm just gonna cut tip off of there. Okay, parakeet green. And I'm just gonna drop that in the open spaces. And along the bottom. Okay. I think those are all the greens I'm gonna use. Because as I'm dropping this in, I can see that this must have less pigmentation in it because I'm getting some white spots in there. Uh, the only other green I have that I didn't use was emerald and lime. Well, we might as well use the emerald, why not? And I'm just gonna drop just a couple drops of the emerald. But I can see that it's, okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I have a mixing cup here. I actually have two and I have a little bit of epoxy here and this epoxy should be getting hot since I've mixed it up some time ago. Okay. And what I'm going to do, hopefully you can see this, I am going to drop a little bit of the pinata white.
in one and a little bit of the pinata rich gold in the other. And then we're gonna try to get these colors moving. And this gold is very pigmented to me. So I'm gonna mix it. And I don't know if you can see that, but it is a very thick, very thick. It doesn't move much. It doesn't move much. And so, and then I'm gonna mix the white. And then I'm gonna grab my dryer, my heat gun, because uh, I don't wanna use my torch. And we're gonna heat this up a little bit. And I'm gonna use a low heat. heat. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to control my heat. But I'm gonna come in, I think I'm gonna do the gold first. Because I don't want to use too much gold. And I'm just gonna drop this in random areas. I just want some streaks just something to break up the green so the green doesn't get too heavy and I'll come in with the white and try to get up high And I think that as long as green is the prominent color, that she's gonna be happy. I'm hoping so. But I do wanna break up some of the green and I do wanna have some specks of gold coming through. So what I'm going to do is a technique that I've seen done before. And I'm just going to give my, my tumbler <clears throat> excuse me, some lift. So what I'm gonna do is pull this off, my arm, tumbler arm off, and we're gonna lean, lean this. I may have to get up. And I'm gonna turn it off. Okay. And I am just going to Take this and hold it down, tilt it to the side to get the inks running. And then back, hopefully you can see that. So I'm going up and letting them run toward me. And then back down. So just to get some movement. And we can start to see that we're getting some swirls in there. Which is what I'm looking for. I don't want the greens to just sit. So I'm just trying to give it some movement by tilting my tumbler in one direction. 
and then tilting it in the other direction to keep the inks moving. Okay. And while I have it off the tumbler, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that my bottom is covered. Okay. So, and you can start to see the gold showing up, but I don't want them to be clumped up. And so that's why I put them in epoxy before putting them onto the tumbler. Because if I had just dropped them straight onto the tumbler, they would have just been kind of like globs. Then I would have tried to add more paint to break them up. And I didn't want to do all of that. So I'm going to place this back on. Turn it back on. It looks like we're going in the opposite direction. And I'm just going to address any areas that seem like they need a little more color. And so I'm going to come in with some more of this gold. And that's what I want is for it to drizzle. That's what I want. Okay. And a little bit more of this white since I got it. Well, what you guys think? Do you guys, when you make your tumblers and you use the mixatives, do you drop them straight on to the tumbler? Or do you kind of dilute them so that they're not so thick and laying in one spot? This way they kind of flow for me. And so I like this technique. And I like that the, you can see that the whites and the grays, I think you can see that with this light. I got a lot of light going on. I don't know if that made it better or worse. But we starting to get a swirl pattern here and I am gonna hit it with a little bit more heat to keep it swirling. And I like that the white is being, is breaking up the green. Um, and we're even getting some blue in there. And so I don't wanna do too much because I know that she wants the green, but um, we're getting a lot of movement. Can you see that? You can see that the, the white is moving. And so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna again tilt, so let me just grab this again off. Because I don't think I need too much more heat. I still got movement, but I'll hit it. All right, not too much heat. And I'm just going to grab it and stop it first. Carefully grab it. And I'm going to tilt a little down. And as it starts to run, I can see it moving. And now I'm going to tilt it a little up. But I like that green. She wanted green and she got green. She got a little blue in there too. But the, the primary is the green. And so now this isn't going to look like this because after it stops uh, moving... It's going to look totally different, but I'm liking it. All right. 
I'm just gonna put it back on. I let the cup do the work. So that is it, guys. That is pretty much it. I am gonna let this spin. Um, uh, I'm gonna let this spin for a while and just see what it do. See what it does. Um, I'm liking the colors thus far. I like the green. We got the gold in there. Um. And I think that the green that really did it was the Pinata Rainforest, along with the um, the Parakeet Green. That Parakeet Parakeet Green, yeah, is giving that light green color. And so I'm just dropping that in a couple spots, especially where I see the blue. All right, so we're gonna let this turn. I'll come back in a couple hours. Well, not a couple hours, but I'm gonna let this spin for the remainder of the night. I will come back tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what it looks like. Decide what kind of decal to put on it. Slap some more epoxy on there as a top coat. And I think we'll be done. I think we'll be done. So until we meet again, peace. All right, so we are back. The tumbler is pretty much done. It has all of the coats on it. Um, well, the two coats of epoxy. Um, it feels nice and smooth. The color is, is really nice. It's a nice green color. Um, I checked it over. It is ready for the decal. And so what I'm going to do is pop the decal on and then we'll be ready to epoxy. Uh, the last load of epoxy and then this will be ready to, to be clinked up and shipped out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my decal. I have both decals cut out. Um, she wanted her name on here. And so we're gonna put the name on one side and the decal on the other. And so uh, what I like to do is to make sure that I have enough space for both. So what I've done is at the top of I'm not sure if you can see that because of the, the white. But at the top of my decal, I left a little bit of the transfer tape. And the reason for me to do that is so that on the side that I'm going to put this decal. And I think I'm just going to pop it right there. I can tape this in place using that little bit of transfer tape. so that I know where that's gonna end up at. And now I can put the name on because I wanna try to end up even. So that's gonna work for me. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the name on and I'll show you how to put one side of the decal on and then for the sake of keeping the video short, um, I'll put the other side on, and we've already seen the epoxy process. So I'm going to go ahead, put the decal on, add another load of epoxy, and I'll come back and show you the finished product. But right now, I've used my Cricut, not my Cricut, I've used my Cameo, and made me a transfer here. And this tape... This vinyl, this roll of vinyl has given me such an issue. And I don't know why. But everything that I have cut out of this roll of vinyl, actually a couple rolls that I bought in this, this last lot has given me an issue. The paper has not been coming up. It's just been a mess. And I, I like the place where I purchased the vinyl from. I'm not shouting them out or anything like that. Um, or, you know, 
giving them any back bad business or bad talk because I've purchased a lot from them and I just think, you know, sometimes things happen. And it's been hot and so, you know, that could have something to do with it. I don't know. I just know that it doesn't take this much to get the um, decals off. sick of it all right and I just had it sitting resting on some cotton balls to give me some leverage all right so I'm just gonna pop this down and if I want I want it this way And then you're just gonna take, this is a brandisher, comes with the Cameo machine. If you were to use these type of letters, um, Dollar Tree has some rub transfers. Um, you would wanna do something like that to make sure that everything is laying flat because when I put the second load of epoxy or the next load, the final load of epoxy on, I don't want the epoxy to get up under any of my letters uh, then the letters will lift um, it just is a problem it's a whole problem of another for another discussion and so now we're just going to take this off I am just going to roll it back I like to lay my lines down lay this down transfer tape down and kind of roll back and that way I'm pushing the letters down as I take the transfer tape off so I don't have to worry about anything lifting all right and then I save my tape to be used again stick it right to the wall or something but there we have it I know that's a little close but there we have the one side done so I'm gonna go ahead do the other side put the epoxy on there and I'll just bring back the tumbler and let you see the finished product, okay? All right, so the alcohol ink tumbler is done and it looks pretty good. The colors are very vibrant. You can see the greens mix together very well. I went ahead and I put a, a second load of epoxy on the tumbler uh, just to even out any any spots that weren't they that were um, visible but as you can see the bottom looks good and so that is it um the inks that I use I use a I'm gonna list the inks in the description uh, because there were quite a few uh, different greens um, I threw in some white uh, and also a little bit of the gold metallic, which you can see spinning around now. And so we got some of the gold metallic in there. Um, this customer, well, the person that's receiving this did not want any glitter. And so um, I didn't do glitter. This is straight alcohol, straight alcohol ink um, with a vinyl, a vinyl decal on it. Um, and it's a 20 ounce tumbler. So I'll leave the um, all the specifics in the this, um, the comments, excuse me, in the description um, in case you want to try your hand at creating this. I do get the tumblers from Condi Systems. Um, alcohol inks I order from Amazon. Um, the vinyl is a 651 vinyl. Um, I believe I get that from Atlanta Vinyl, um, but you can pick that up at, you know, any local craft store, um, along with the alcohol inks, the 20 ounce tumblers. Um, you can find tumblers pretty much anywhere. It might be not, may not be this specific style. Uh, they have some of the jumbo ones, that sort of thing. Um, but I'll list all of the information in the 
uh, description. And if you are so inclined to make this, please post a picture. Let me see what yours turned out. Um, turned out like I do like the, the alcohol inks. It is a very, um, it's very pretty. I don't know if the, if the camera can catch that, if you can see that. But it is very, very pretty. And the colors just pop in different areas and they blend in different ways. Um, so I thank you for watching. I hope you uh, got some tips, techniques out of this video. If so, be sure to hit the like button. Um, also, if you'd like to see more content, more videos when they drop, hit that notification button so that you can be notified. And by all means, feel free to subscribe. That helps me out. I appreciate you, beautiful people. You have a wonderful day. And until the next time, peace.